Hello everyone. Hope you already know how to extract text information from any website. But do you know that scrapping images from any website is easier? In this video, I'll show you step by step on how to extract text, extract images, download the images to local computer and prepare an Excel report. Welcome to our channel, UA Paths Training. We are now in the book section of Amazon website. And now I would open UA Path to extract this information. So I click data scrapping, select a value. I would choose the first image. Next, I would choose the second image. And I would name the column name as image URL and click next. We can see the image URL is empty currently, but we expect a URL to be there. So how to fix it? Click on edit data definition. And here, instead of this text, I replace it with the SRC and click OK. Now we can still see the images does not appear here. So click this edit data definition again and look for the last tag. So it is now scrapping information from a division tag. Ideally, we need not uh, take any data from division tag. Instead, we need data from an image tag. So replace this div with IMG and click OK. And we are done. So we got all the images. Now I would say I want to scrap all the results. So I would click, I would give zero here and extract correlated data. So I would also extract the book name, this. Right, I would say this as book name. Right, so we got all the book names here and we have the image URL empty again. So finally we can give a fix there. So it should be actually uh, SRC followed by IMG that we can give towards the end of this. So extract correlated data. I need the uh, price of the book. Next, price of the book, right? So this will be price. Click next. And now check if we have the image. No. Click edit data definition. And do this information. SRC here. IMG. Okay. And click. Okay. So once you have the images here, click finish. Now it's asking if the data is spanning across multiple pages, click yes. Before that, scroll all the way to the down where we have the next button. Click yes, choose the next button and we are done, right? Now, after this extract, I would use a right range activity to uh, have the results, right range and a workbook activity. So I would save the report under this folder called extract images. Slash report dot xlsx. And I'm writing data in sheet one, data table extract data table. So that's where the output gets stored here. So we can see this output is stored in variable called extract data table. And I'm just going to write it along with the headers. So I choose and this tick mark. And now I would run the project to see if I'm able to extract all the text information along with the images. Now, the execution is completed and we have a report here. Let me open the report and show to you. So here we have the image URL, yes, the book name and price. So for around 280 plus books, yes. So we have 280 books, URL, the book name and the price. So our work is partly done. So the next step is to download the images to local computer, right? So I would not save this information for now. And now I'm just going to extract all the images in this folder and prepare a report out of it. First, I'll show you how to download an image from, from the web. 
without using any click activity. Use the activity called HTTP request. If it's not available, so click manage packages and go to orchestrator host and choose uapath.webapi.activities. This package contains HTTP request activity, which is used to download any content from the web without using the click activities. Now the package has been installed. I would choose HTTP request activity here. The first thing is endpoint. So for taking the endpoint, to take the report and grab one sample URL, come back, paste it here, and click the response. Here, click download resource and check the default image extension here. So if you see here, it ends with JPG, right? So go to response, download response, and then choose any folder and say test.jpg, right? So now we are just going to test this download, will it work or not, okay? So I just click okay. Right click this activity allow, this HTTP request allow, and say test activity. Execution got ended, and now I should go into images folder, I can see the image downloaded correctly. So we are on track, right? So let me delete this image for now and extract all the images, right? So now I would do a for each row in the table activity because I need to download all the images which is extracted in extracted data table. And I would choose an assign activity to have the image URL. Let me open the Excel to see the file, sorry, to see the column name, it's image URL. So I would say current row of image URL dot to string, right? And where am I going to save this URL to? So I would do another assign activity to say file save path, right? So I want to save each and every file in a different file name. So in the forager activity, I will click properties and enable this index. So I would say index. So while looping, the index will be stored here. So it will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So here, the image save path, I'd be saving it in this folder, right? So to this folder, right? Slash ampersand dot jpg. And here I would choose the index, which means that the first image will be saved as 0.jpg, second will be saved as 1.jpg, third to 2.jpg, and so on. So now what we have done, so we have capture the image URL for every image and we have also captured the file save path for each image. Now let me drag and drop this HTTP request activity here and I would change this request URL to image URL. Yes, because it's a looping variable and it has to extract the images from the table and where it is going to save, it is not in this path but to the file save path, right? This has been done now. So now, if I run this workflow, I should be able to see all the images downloaded, right? But I also need a path of where the image gets stored in the Excel file itself. To do that, what I will do, after the extract, before looping the rows, what I would do, I would add a data column and say the column name as uh, file saved path. Okay, to the data table, you extract data table. So whatever the path it shows here in file save path, I want to store it in the table itself so that I'll get as a part of the Excel report. So I would do another assign activity. 
and say current row of file saved path equals file saved path right so whatever this path is where the file gets saved and then things are done so i have to prepare the report so let me go back to browser and choose the first page and rerun the project now So it has extracted all the information. Now I would go back to this image folder to see if UA path is extracted in the images. Now we have seen that it has extracted all the images successfully. And then I would go back here to take the report. We have the new column added here it's called file saved path. And if you open this path in a browser, I should be able to open the image. Yes, so it works fine, right? So now we have understood how to use the data scrapping to scrap images from the web along with the text information and how to pull the report. If you really like the video, hit a like. Share with your friends if you think it will, it will help your friends. And also subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Thank you.